Alright, welcome back to Grim. This is another one I've never played before and I have absolutely no idea what it's about. I, I've never heard of this one before, so I don't know. I have no idea. When their thirteenth child plops out and the hapless parents don't even take a pledge of abstinence, they've apparently abandoned good judgment along with restraint. They hope a godfather may ameliorate their folly. Nonsense! Back directly, Mother. I'll just step out and find a godparent to help raise our new boy. Right. Any other man would be contemplating a permanent exit. And who could blame him? Poor Randy Sod. Hurry home, dear. The babies need burping. Now here's undeserved luck. Looking for a godparent? This moat finds God! No offense, God, but you can't be godfather to my son. You give to the rich while the poor starve. Bloody hell! He thinks there's a better godfather than God? Wonder what God thinks about it. Well, he's on a roll. I believe the operative verse is, Seek and ye shall find. But is this is ridiculous. Literally? Uh -huh. the devil again? Are uh, you? I am. Take me as your child's godfather. I will give him all the joys of the world. No offense, Beelzebub, but you can't be my son's godfather. You deceive us and lead us astray. Equal time and treatment to the champions of good and evil, I suppose. Neither has much reason to complain. But who's next? Why, it's death. And the horse he rode up on. Make me your child's godfather. To me, everyone is equal. I will care for him. Done no death. You treat the rich and poor alike. You shall be my child's godfather. Yeah, no, that's not, not the a only criterion terrible... on which to base the decision, but probably not the worst. Yeah. The boy grew up without incident or remarkable event, and when he had come of age, his macabre godparent charted his future and introduced him to a miraculous herb. Godson, you will become a physician to the rich and famous. But I have no training. No matter. As I am visible only to you, I'll indicate which of your patients will live and which will die. If I stand at their heads, give this herb, they will recover. But if I stand at their feet, they're mine. Death was as good as his word. His godson became rich and was later appointed the king's personal physician. But when the king's time had come, the godson was loath to let him die. Don't ever dare to betray me again. Yes, Godfather. King, as I have saved your life, I'd like to marry your daughter. She's very ill. Heal her, and you shall have her and my crown. Feeling better? Fine. I'm your doctor. We're getting married. Tomorrow good for you? I have no dress. I... Godson, you'll never disappoint me again. Come along now. A more perspicacious being would have seen Death's declaration for the lethal guarantee it was. I'll get back to you. He lied, of course. But what did he know? He wouldn't be getting back to anyone above ground. Oh, 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 this doesn't look good. Candles snuffed out, Death giving a guided tour of the underworld. Symbolism's a bit too clear. I might have cursed the darkness and let it go in that. These candles are the life lights of every living being. A long candle foretells a long life, and the opposite is true, too. Here is yours. This little stump is about to go out. Light a new one for me. One must go out before a new one is lit. But because you are my godson, I'll try a trick. It's against the rules. Thank you, Godfather Death. You saved me. Almost anything for you. <laughs> was the physician fated for an early death, or was his premature demise a punishment? The storyteller doesn't say. But without an answer, the tale is a muddle of unhappy accidents. Death was chosen as Godfather, and God's not offended at being passed over? The devil takes no 
for an answer? That would be a first. And then all-powerful death, the great leveler, pretends he's going to spare his witness godson. I don't think so. If you agree, play on. You know, this is actually really interesting. There's a story like this in the Discworld series called Mort, in which uh, death takes on a... Uh, uh, not so very long ago, well, I'll continue it later. ignorance was more common, if less forgiving than now, an abjectly poor woman presented her willfully stupid husband with their thirteenth and least wanted child. Make it rotten! Let's move! Anyway, what I was saying is that, uh... Death takes on a person as a, uh, basically as a student. Uh, I forget what the actual term is, but like, kind of, kind of a student. He uh, takes them on to, uh, holy like crap, I'm slow and everything. Um, but, uh, yeah, okay. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Everything's on fire, that seems fine. Uh, but he takes him on as an apprentice. Apprentice! That's the term I was looking for. He's an apprentice. And, uh... The kid's name is Mort. You know, like, Mort, like, death. You know. Similar to it. Yeah, anyway. It's actually pretty interesting. Although the death of this world is actually pretty cool. Don't run, Daddy! Don't run, Daddy! Get Daddy! Trump and stomp! story that you should read. I mean, everyone should read this world at some point or another. It's kind of like a hilarious version of, uh, of D&D type stuff. Or, you know, fantasy. I like how they're actively chasing of their father. Let's see, is that everything? It appears to be everything. Calm down! He nearly ran out of his clothes. Pity he couldn't keep his pants on at home. Eh. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed the secret. The indiscriminate breeder seeks a godfather to support his latest spawn. He decides that God isn't up to the job. How and according to me, God doesn't take rejection well. Make it nasty. Question, why would they even want the job in the first place? It's not like human children are all Let's that desirable. Move. Humble man's cottage. Oh, I see. They're all waiting right out there. Yeah, that's something I've actually not understood about fairy tales, where, like, they're always trying- a lot of creatures are trying to steal, like, human children. It's like, I don't understand why you even want them. Now I'm gross. Red nut. I'm turning everything terrible. Dude, you will be terrible too. Now who's foul? <laughs> 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 
Oh, people are being really sad. That's why. Ah, here we go. There's still some cleaners running around, but they won't have much. They will not stop it. I'll get to you eventually. Stop it. This looks like a slightly pissed off version. Stop it! Good. Stop oh, it! Yeah, I get this over here. Okay, I got this. Don't be made, but stop away! Ah! Oh, he's already doing that. Okay. Guess we're on to the next then. The rampant spawner mulls over old Scratch the Godfather, but declares him lacking. What's with the nuns? Yeah, why are there nuns all around this rotation? Make it repulsive. I don't understand. We're trying to get to the church, I guess. Let's move! Oh, we already start with nasty. That's nice. I guess they're vampires? They seem somewhat vampirish.
gotcha. I have another secret. This is the most amount of darkness I've ever had. The amount of darkness I currently have is frightening. So now that we have a, a bunch of vampires. Oh, we can already do that. But stomp away! one he can't refuse. Death. Who better for a godfather? Why would Death even I should have want asked him? God I why he it. thought this dope That's pretty busy. Multiply. This doesn't environment need a baby. doesn't suit our bony friend. Let's cool it down. Make it vile. Bye. Let's move. Yes, we're going. Oh, we're already pretty high up. Most amount of darkness ever. 
Chomp and stump. I do want to see what death looks like though after the game has started. Whoa! Looks pretty death. cool. Yeah, you the man, El Jefe, the Grim Reaper. If I do say so. Oh, chill, Grim. <laughs> That's the first character ever to break the fourth wall. Of course it's death. That makes sense. <laughs> Thank you.